Hi everybody, it's Tezza, and here we are, another time together to spend, to give a little more intention to life, called a ritual. This is my offering, this is my gift, and it's my pleasure because I myself find there's more meaning to life when I do a little ritual about it. So today I have a power outage. Oops, I just got a notification there. I have a power outage in my house. That's why I have the headlamp. And this is my studio. This is a painting that I did to honor the energy that we have all within us, our own being. Nothing on the outside. I'm talking about what's in the inside and that's what I attempt to do each time that I do these weekly rituals with you and that's why I designed how to celebrate love which is consciousness together with a group because I do it privately and as an artist who loves spirit I decided to offer this to the world and this is my gift Yes, I create paintings. Yes, I write books. Yes, I have a podcast with my beloved husband, for those of you who don't know. But I also like to have this inward experience as much as I can, especially during times when I feel like I need it. <laughs> like confusion or um, unsettledness or sometimes just to feel like I need it tune-up, a check-in, like what's really going on? And so we're approaching Thanksgiving. This is uh, the week before Thanksgiving. And today the CDC, at least for me it was today, I, I don't listen to the news, but I do read the newspaper. I was reading this morning that the CDC uh, is recommending for families only to get together those who are already shelter in place because the pandemic is rising. And so what does this mean to us? We have to have conversations in our families, with our groups of families. Now, we, our family had planned on four of our households coming together to celebrate, which is a small amount actually in a big family. But today I sent out a group text saying, we should have a group conversation about this. Is this what we really want to do? Because the CDC has recommended only one household get together, which for some people might mean you and your cat or just another friend who lives next door. Uh, so we all have to have conversations about what's going on. And it's better to talk about it openly. That's what I do here. I talk about the fact that I believe in the consciousness called that I call love. Other people would call it the universe, the divine, the sacred. It doesn't matter what you call it, but I truly believe that that is the most important part of our being alive when we're in tune with the consciousness that we are all a part of. So that's why we're here today and that's why we're celebrating love because love is the antidote to fear. There is nothing to fear when we tune in to the inward journey, our consciousness that we are all part of. Even if you're in a coma, like God forbid that ever happens, but I've known people who have been intubated, not even with COVID, uh, heart problems, and when they come out of their induced comas, they tell me, and I've heard this several times, I believe it, that they are aware of every single thing that happens around them when they are supposedly unconscious. And so as long as we have breath, we are conscious and we are alive and being alive is synonymous with consciousness. 
So let's tune into that in our time together in this mind-stilling ritual. Because the mind is all made up stuff. The mind is where we get confused and the mind doesn't have all the answers. The mind is, is useful for some things. It helps analyze. But sometimes it's better just to not tune into the mind and go deeper or higher, however you want to say, that we can access it. We go within. We go within our own being and we can access that still part of the mind that is one with all that is in creation. So as we gently stop thinking and bring our busy minds into a more loving, compassionate place, the big heart of humanity, the big heart of the universal consciousness that we are all part of, Let's just do that with our breath now. We're going to breathe in and breathe out. And let our mind still. Let our mind become relaxed. Let our mind settle on the breath that is the bridge to higher consciousness when we can still the raku raku going on in the made up thoughts part of the mind. The best way to do that is by focusing on our breath. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in, let your breath guide you, and breathing out, breathing is your entire focus, put all that intention that you put on other things into what's happening inside you, breathing, connecting, Stilling, loving, feeling at one with all that is, trusting, staying centered in that comfortable place within our own being. not listening to what other opinions are, not worrying about the pandemic, not giving any attention to anything for these moments we're together, but the strength and the safety of what's happening in our own interior life our own interior experience, our inside connection to universal oneness, the breath is our ticket. <laughs> it's our entry into the love realm Feel it in your own being. Don't worry about anything outside. There's nothing we can do about it. We just have to let it be. Breathing gently. Feeling connected to our inner self first. And then having the comfort that we are connected with other beings, myself, yourself, all people 
whether they're aware of this ability they have within or not, that doesn't stop them from being in tune with oneness. Some people just don't pay it any attention. Some people don't care, but one day they might. So we're just practicing because one day you might have to cling to this extraordinary feeling of being comforted and being held in the arms of the magnificence of consciousness when things get tough. And maybe they are already tough. Maybe your life is challenged. Maybe you're having hardships. Maybe there's not enough food on the table. Maybe you're feeling lonely. But just for this moment, while we do this together mind-stilling ritual, know that you are not alone. When you look at the word alone, it also, if you put one extra L in there, it is all one. All one, not alone. You are all one. We are all one. Together, we are all one. You're only alone in your mind. Just don't pay attention to that mind right now. Just keep breathing, filling yourself with love, consciousness, spiritual nourishment, comfort, joy, even if you have to tell yourself you're faking it. You will make it if you learn to fake it. Fake it till you make it is true. When you put a smile on your face, you can't frown. You just can't. When you hold a positive image in your mind, like the healing energy that we are all participating in right now, emanating from our hearts, our souls, our spirit, from this light that's coming from the sun. That's not an artificial light. That's the sun hitting my hand. <laughs> it's true. We are powerful beings. Look at that. Woo. That's the energy that we transmit from the sun to the camera. And the energy that we transmit with our thoughts is just as remarkable. It's just as tangible. We can help heal this world by first believing that we are healing ourselves when we tune in to the inside experience. It's not selfish to do this. This is the way we participate in being good citizens of the world by healing ourselves first, by knowing, truly knowing, that we are all one, we're never alone, ever, ever alone. So keep breathing, and do this as much as you can, whenever you need a reminder. Remember, I love you, and you love also, and our love together is going to get us through this. <laughs>